Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. And thanks for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Friday, January 11th. It's the Friday after the Epiphany. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 91, in Revelation 3, verse 7 through 13. And join me now in singing verse 5 of We Three Kings. Glorious now, behold him arise. King and God and sacrifice, heaven sings Alleluia, Alleluia, earth replies. Oh, star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, Guide us to thy perfect light. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Together. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault in our thoughts and words and deeds and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts, we have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, and cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. If you dwell in the shelter of the Most High, you shall live in the shadow of the Almighty. Alleluia. Psalm 91. And please recite it with me. Alleluia, if you dwell in the shelter of the Most High, you shall live in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of God Most High, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely God will deliver you from the snare of the fowler. God will cover you, and under God's wings shall you find refuge. God's truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the plague that walks in darkness, nor the sickness that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. With your eyes you shall behold and see the punishment of the wicked. Because you have made God most high your refuge, the most high your stronghold, no evil shall befall you. Neither shall any plague come near you. For God shall give the angels charge over you to keep you safe wherever you go. They shall bear you in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. And you shall tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon you shall trample underfoot. Because you love me, therefore I will deliver you. I will set you on high, because you have known my name. And you shall call upon me, and I will answer. I will be with you in trouble. I will deliver you and honor you. With long life will I satisfy you, and show you my salvation. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. If you dwell in the shelter of the Most High, you shall live in the shadow of the Almighty. Alleluia. A reading from the Revelation to John, chapter 3, beginning at verse 7. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, These are the words of the Holy One, the True One, who has the key of David, who opens and no one will shut, who shuts and no one opens. I know your works. Look, I have set before you an open door, which no one is able to shut. I know that you have but little power, and yet you have kept my word, and have not denied my name. 
I will make those of the synagogue of Satan, who say that they are Jews and are not, but are lying. I will make them come and bow down before your feet, and they will learn that I have loved you, because you have kept my word of patient endurance. I will keep you from the hour of trial that is coming on the whole world to, to test the inhabitants of the earth. I am coming soon. Hold fast to what you have so that no one may seize your crown. If you conquer, I will make you a pillar in the temple of my God. You will never go out of it. I will write on you the name of my God and the name of the city of my God the new Jerusalem that comes down from my God out of heaven, and my own new name. Let anyone who has an ear listen to what the Spirit is saying to the churches. Here ends the lesson. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us pray. Lead us in triumph over all enemies and keep us safe from every evil in the shelter of your loving kindness. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.